um, we have a tooth for salt, we have a tongue for salt. Okay. So that's why we're homing in on salt. We also have a, a taste, a liking for oily food. And um, yeah, it's a mission to, to raise awareness about heart disease in Nigeria. Because yes, Nigerians do suffer from hypertension. A lot of Nigerians suffer from hypertension. Um, WHO says that uh, one in 10 Nigerians suffer from hypertension and hypertension is actually a major cause of other heart diseases and heart related diseases such as diabetes um, can be consequences of high blood pressure which is hypertension. For over 4,000 years we have known that salt intake can affect blood pressure through signals to the muscles of blood vessels trying to maintain good pressure within a proper range. We know for sugar there is a substitute for taking when they tell us not to take so much sugar and I know about sweet text as a substitute for sugar. Is there a substitute for salt? If you're telling somebody to reduce salt intake, is there a substitute for what can give your food, you know, good taste? Well, if it's a substitute about good taste, the food doesn't have to have so much salt for it to have good taste. Uh, I'm a testament to that. I stopped adding um, salt when I cook rice about five years ago. It is possible. Your taste buds will get used to it after one or two months um, because the, 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 the tongue has taste receptors in them and they will get used to what you feed them. And that's why um, when you have a baby and you give the baby something that isn't really nice, maybe some special milk, um, they don't know that there's anything different they don't know about once a bit or you give them water and that's why we encourage you to give babies water because once you start giving them ribena the day you say you want to give them water they'll say no they don't want it because they're they're now used to it they have that sweet tooth sweet tongue um so it is definitely possible um that that people can reduce the, the level of salt they eat and it's by doing little things you know start from not cooking uh, rice with salt um not adding salt when you fry eggs you know, definitely not adding salt on the table. That is out of the question. That is out of the question. Actually, that is out of the question because that's not even being cooked. And because when you cook with salt, you actually do lose some of the salt in the water. Uh, but you know, when you add at the table, all of it just goes. People do say that you can take a potassium. That that can sub that tastes a bit similar but that's I don't think that's widely available in Nigeria and we're not even encouraging people to do that we're saying um, stand up and be counted to be taking responsibility for your life and for your health and the health of your family reduce the salt we're not saying don't take salt um, sodium has its uses in the body salt sodium chloride there are uses for that in the body but we're saying we need to reduce it it is a known fact that elevated blood pressure is a well-documented risk factor for cardiovascular events like heart attack and strokes. A wonderful time with you on the program I'm sure that you have learned one of two things that will help you have a healthy life let, let, let me repeat it again that added salt on the table it's not an option mind the quantity of salt that you take six gram a day I'm sure we can make it six gram a day don't forget six gram not more than six grams of salt in a day because salt is a major major cause of some of this cardiovascular disease that's raging the society 
see today. In case you have any question on how we can serve you better on this program or you have any health related questions, we have doctors in the house who will always answer your questions. Please do make use of the number numbers that are scrolling on the screen. Um, you can send us email or you can send us SMS on the short code that is also on the screen and we promise to answer all your health related questions. It's been a wonderful time with you on the program. My name is Beulah Marshall. Keep a date with healthy living for next week.